Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jules, here for What Culture Gaming, and I'm here with Rich. And if we're together, that can mean only one thing. It's time to hit that jingle. Which you don't have, we so don't I'm gonna make you jingle. a new one. Hey! It's, it's time, time for news. news. Have you got, got the itch? itch? I guess it's time for Jules and Rich. What the f And we're back in the room, and today we're talking about Atari. Well, not exactly Atari. The company that bought Atari's license and all of their back catalogue of games who are now called Atari something publishers. It's like, it's a twist on the they name. They still call themselves a developer, yet they're only a publisher now. Yeah, and it's, it, that's, that's the first indication that something's wrong. Because today, this Atari has announced that Roller Coaster Tycoon is going to be brought to the Switch. Only if you fund it, though. Yeah. You have to fund it. They're not going to fund it. The classic... Arcade game that not, not a classic arcade the classic game that won over many with its yep. charming style and all of its sort of like uh, Balancing of the books and just launching people off into the air and killing them. Yeah, that was fun They want to bring that back for the switch Well, they kind of do they want to bring the mobile port the mobile tycoon touch from last year They can bring onto that to the, the switch. switch and Atari want you to fund it like, they, they start op by opening their thing saying, we're Atari, you know who we are, we're very famous for games like Pong, we've made millions and millions of pounds and shape the face of the gaming industry as we know it today. But we need your help, and it's just yeah, kind of like, you, I'm we sorry, you to pay what? For our, we want you to pay for our game. What? It's the, it's... Weird. Like, Atar like, ever since they took over the Roller Coaster Tycoon series back in 2004, ever since they did Tycoon 3, mm -hmm. which is like, perfect game, mm -hmm. they've just shit on the franchise, no end. They did the terrible um, Tycoon 4 mobile a few mm -hmm. years ago that was absolutely dreadful. Tycoon World, don't even get me started Didn't on that. Didn't even start that one. Um, you can get it for a pound on Steam and even then I can't justify paying a pound to play that <laughs> game. Um, and then they did the Tycoon Touch, which apparently isn't terrible, right. but it's still a mobile freemium game built on card packs to unlock different trains and well, that sounds like that. that sounds awful. Absolutely awful. But the thing is, is that they aren't going to invest any money in it. They are looking for investors to help them get this off the ground. They're looking for ten thousand dollars to to get it. From looking, them. Yeah, ten thousand dollars minimum, which they've already mm. broken, with a with a final goal. Their their dream goal is one point zero seven million. For this That's game. a big jump. It now, is a big jump. I, I hear you asking, hey Jules, you sexy new hatted beast. <laughs> what do I get if I invest in them? Well, I'll tell you. Not much, because if you invest, say, a hundred pounds, minim or minimum of two hundred and fifty dollars. It's let's say you invest your two hundred and fifty dollars. What do you get for that? Well, you get a return, which, as you would expect from an investment, but it's only up to a hundred and twenty percent. It's if you, if it's uh, the first couple of months. Yeah, if you make back a hundred and twenty percent of your, you make fifty percent of the profits until you make back 120% of what you invested, that's it. and you're then it drops to 25%. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you make, the, a, you make a bit back on your investment, and then mm -hmm. you'll make even less from that. To put, to put it out into perspective, so you give them your money. Yeah. If it makes a profit, you can earn 50% of the profits shared equally between all of the other people, up until you get 120% back of your original investment for the first 18 months. Then it goes down, and then after that 18 months, you get nothing. What an investment. Oh, but wait, there's more. You don't even get a free f***ing copy of no. the game. You get 25% off of the game. Minimum, and $750 minimum to get 25% off. They can't even give you a free f***ing copy of the game. That is outrageous. And then if you spend, I think it's like a, a, over a grand, you 50, get- $1,500, you get the 25% off voucher, and then you and get an art book. The, and an art book. The, the regular edition of the art book. There's, a, there's two versions. Yeah, and they said the regular one. A book that probably cost you what, like 60, 70 quid maybe? And you get you get you get the box standard one for minimum of fifteen hundred dollars investment. That is the state that we're at in the games industry at the moment. That basically so, <laughs> developers like this are gonna wheel out the corpse of an old game, pretend that they're a completely relevant and fresh and hip publisher, ask you for a favour when they could easily fund it themselves, and then give you bugger all in return. Yeah. It's an absolute outrage. I'm genuinely pissed off about this because it is a good series and I hate to see I, it get I, dragged through the mud The Tycoon series like is, is like my favorite game series ever. I absolutely love them all. So, so <sighs> it's horrible to see this. Like I've not been interested in Tycoon since three. Like I've tried the mobile games and they're just terrible. So, so moral of the story is don't give your money to Atari. Go and play Planet Coaster.
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That is, that is perfectly succinct way of doing it. Let us know what you think about this down in the comments below. I hope you're angry, because you should be. You shouldn't mm -hmm. be allowing this sort of travesty. Also, let me know if you like my new hat. Is it too small? I do have a, I do have a big head. I wear it because my head is so shiny on these videos. I just I just do that as a comfort thing. It reflects the green. It takes off half of your head when we when we cut you out of the Very true, screen. very, very true. So yeah, let me know down in the comments section below about that and the more personal thing that we've just discussed. Then head back to whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. As always, I've been Jules. I've been Rich. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.